channel today we are going to discuss like uh, uh, why to send uh, children to school uh, the, the things which we are doing positively in the homeschooling in fact I was doing positively uh, so the, it's always a positive environment I can schedule uh, the way uh, the, you know the complete day the way my child wants to be so it's not like a curriculum based or something uh, you know um, uh, like strict on uh, some particular activities that she have to do at that part of the day so there is a huge amount of flexibility uh, in fact uh, since I believe on Montessori approaches um, then it is like this thing that if my child want to work on one set particular activity or if she enjoy to do that uh, then I would allow her to do that activity for whatever time she want I don't want to you know keep her out from that activity for some time so things like that like we are able to be you know flexible with our child with our own schedule with their schedule uh, to teach them coach them and also I feel uh, that they are able to do more uh, not only in terms of uh, some activities uh, but also in terms of educational things which we can cover now consider for example if you are sending them to school um, then uh, maybe a teacher is uh, you know taking care of 10 or 20 children uh, at once so uh, their the time out of you know whatever they are getting is like you know from that particular say one hour then 1 by 10 or 1 by 20 um, then it's like way less time so even if they are going uh, to the school for four hours uh, uh, or or more than that so effectively it will be not more than one hour of the study which they will be getting in the school which you will be able to do very much pretty much uh, in you in the one hour in you know in a day they have not to be you know homeschooled all the day so a lot of activities to do the fine motor skills a lot of activity for the gross motor skills like the outdoor play uh, cycling or, and, or anything or any such activities like that and then only one hour a day with few minutes here and there depending on your child um, uh, interest you can uh, you know coach them and uh, uh, teach them uh, and so moreover, one of the other reasons is uh, uh, like which is one of the major reasons because these schools are like uh, um, the traditional or even the Montessori schools or the private schools are like very very costly uh, for anyone to afford um, that education so yes that is one of the major factor which I think the cost uh, is like so huge so the, um, we tend to save it like with our homeschooling uh, uh, and uh, even after giving uh, one of the best possible education to the child um, and that to the tailor-made uh, and individualized uh, you know personal plans for the child I must say uh, but then even after looking at all these aspects and what is that thing that has you know made me um, look out for options uh, for the schools for my child um, so yes um, so those were like um, you know uh, even if uh, a child is like uh, uh, knowing all the A to Z, 1 to 10, 1 to 20, 1 to 30, whatever, uh, by 2 to 3 years of age, color, shapes, whatever they understand academically, but if they are not that social or that uh, they are not uh, emotional skills, they are not able to make friends together, uh, you know, they are not able to share, they are like clinging uh, to me, um, most of the time not even able to go like, you know, 3 feet apart um, also not willing to go even three feet apart from me so these are the things which have kind of forced uh, me to think uh, you know in directions that I have to do something more about the time which I have uh, for the child uh, you know for the interaction with the outer world uh, moreover we also don't have curriculum uh, so if the child um, is uh, you know able to uh, absorb the things which you are trying to teach like, then then there's no limit like for example you can start with A to Z uh, then you have started with the upper case of course then you would have to now want like once they're done with the upper case you go with the lower case now for example for numbers if you're coaching 1 to 10 then if, if she's done with 1 to 10 you would like to go for now 10 to 20 then 30 to 40 and so slowly like went to 50 went to 100 uh, you don't want to stop there but then you can do it depending on um, the capacity of the child you are able to tailor it uh, but then schools will not give you that freedom that is also one of the thing that like you know the traditional way at least the traditional schools will not give you that freedom uh, to so much tailor-made um, uh, you know uh, schedules for your child 
so uh, and moreover the other aspects like you want uh, uh, your child to follow one particular uh, religion uh, based uh, uh, that kind of uh, biasness if we have uh, then that is also one of the factors we want to homeschool them because we want them you know to believe on one particular religion and and so on and also uh, sometimes we feel that uh, the child can be bullied um, and uh, we want to avoid it so these are the positive aspects of homeschooling which we do like when we do uh, homeschool the child the preschoolers we can avoid that and give them our like majority of the time they are with us uh, and then um, they are the true reflection of us so all the values and all the characteristics which they have got mostly it is from us so we can give them the good start and the good basics right, right from the beginning and create a good base for them so this is what is homeschooling yeah. she was in very good shape and then in fact at two years she knew all her small case uppercase letters numbers colors shapes what not so but then uh why do i feel that there is a need for her to go to school um, I have recently started her sending to a Montessori school, uh, which is like only three days a week and that too only for four hours. Uh, why I'm doing that is um, that uh, uh, like now, 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 for example, every child is different. So I'm investing a lot of time because I'm at home and then I am, uh, you know, able to give her academically whatever she needs. Uh, but then uh, I don't have any siblings uh, uh, for her. Um, so she don't have a sister or a brother and then the things which she can learn from you know having more people around she's not able to do it my husband used to travel most of the time from monday to thursday he's in a job where he was traveling so it was only me and her so most of the time she was only watching me uh, uh, and you know her and then only two people uh, most of the day and the uh, and that was the reason that she was even clinging a lot to me. She was not even that comfortable with her uh, father uh, because he used to come only for very few days. So she is always, always uh, clinging uh, to me. That is one thing. Uh, I wanted her to be independent, uh, you know, slowly, steadily. But uh, eventually, even if we were going uh, uh, and utilizing all the forums, uh, like in Dallas also, I used to go, uh, you know, when I was in Dallas, I used to go in library uh and take to take her to the parks and all utilize all such opportunities and even in fact when we have moved and when we came on the florida location there also we have used all the opportunities like library they are having a good sessions uh three days a week like on monday tuesday and uh, even on thursday they have in the library uh but we have to understand that those sessions are only for half an hour in complete day and then you know you have some park or something but then uh, like it's a total of 1.5 hours in a week is that sufficient is it sufficient for your child no it is not sufficient and in fact uh, i was also facing one more problem that in the apartment where i'm staying uh, here i don't have people around i don't have my near ones uh, since i'm from india and I, my complete family is there so you don't get to see cousins uh, you know related people more of the family members uh, and uh, uh, you know there are if there are more people in the house then the child gets uh, you know um, comfortable with the uh, a setting like that there are many people in the house and then each one of try each one of them if they try to you know speak to them then uh, slowly they get into a point where their vocal skills are good um, so she might know the things but sh she's not speaking a lot uh, so I had this problem where she's not speaking a lot. So some people aren't like naturally extrovert uh, or naturally very talkative or so, but she's not one of them. Uh, she's not speaking and then that concerns me. It's not something that she is not able to speak. She's able to speak all her alphabets. She's able to recognize all her alphabets, uppercase and lowercase. And even the words also she will speak. But she's not into like forming sentences. Uh, like for example, Arna wants milk. Uh, Arna want this, Arna want that, like Arna milk, like one or two words. She was not getting into, you know, framing those sentences with whatever do, with whatever I do. I try to speak in our local language uh, also and then English most of the time in this. But then I was not even having my husband 
in in my uh, you know apartment most of the time he was traveling due to work and then it's only me and her so whom do you do you know she get to see uh, you know communicating a lot or or she get an opportunity to communicate a lot so those uh, you know a total of 1.5 hours uh, of library time or some other even community events like there is a great start abc here uh, which is like um, uh events uh, once a week they have they also have events so events like those uh at max will be like 2 to 2.5 hours in a week uh so but then those 2 to 2.5 hours were not sufficient for my daughter to uh enhance her vocal skills uh to encourage her to speak uh, a lot and to be more uh, you know confident uh, and um, uh, make friends uh you know things like that so if you ask me um that uh, why i'm sending my daughter to a school i will say that uh, even if academically she is very bright but i don't wanted her to be you know just clinging to me i wanted her to be independent uh, right from the you know basics uh, and if i'm not able to give her that environment since i don't have my family here my friends uh, kids are also like uh, you know they are grown up i'm not having anyone right here in my apartment or nearby uh where she is uh, get to see a lot of people and the, a lot of interactions between me and them or the children uh then i have to give that you know somehow those 2.5 hours in complete one week uh you know from the some community forums were not sufficient for her so that is the only one reason that i am trying to send my daughter to a school just to make friends just to talk and just to observe uh, the people uh you know observe the the same age children and try to communicate for her needs uh because we were having our own uh, language then if she has to communicate something you know survival comes the first so if she have to communicate for her own survival when she start going to school then she have to communicate to the children to make friends then she have to communicate to the teacher and then uh you know some uh, skills uh, where she have to make friends otherwise she'll be left alone uh she have to share and things like that uh for 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 things like that i am just sending her to the school uh and uh, if you are having a single earning uh, member uh whom if you it's a single earning member like it's only my husband who is earning uh so it means a lot to me uh like you know these charges uh for the school and it was uh you know a uh, inhibitor from the day one uh but then slowly uh, over a period of time then i have realized that uh uh you know i have to come over with it i will uh, save in many other different ways uh but then i it is very very important for me to send my daughter to school now uh to get over uh, with you know all this uh, uh separation anxiety the clingingness uh even if my husband comes then also she clings to me or if someone else comes also then also she clings to me uh and then you know some behavioral and emotional uh, skills making her more independent uh making uh, her uh, you know more talkative like she should be able to talk uh independently and communicate to others like teachers and children so only for those reasons i am sending her to school which i believe that it is very important at the initial age um so uh so there are situations like this now for example if you are a mom uh, of a 3 or 4 uh, where you are already having uh, older siblings uh, who can be a role model to your child then i think that yes then you don't need uh, you know this kind of school for that because she is already observing she is already having her uh, you know own siblings or even cousins uh, for that sake uh, and having a lot of interaction with the children or the family nearby but then uh, my case was different and then since i am not having or i cannot create an environment like this where i have a lot of family members or uh, a lot of children for her to communicate uh, not more than 2.5 to 3 hours in a week uh even if i take her to park then she will be playing uh, you know independently not much mingling uh, with the other children so effectively only the time when i take her to the library or you know the great start some other events community events that is only time uh, you know 2.5 hours in a week so that is not sufficient so if you are a mom who are like uh, you know staying independently uh with only you or your husband and uh, your child then you should seriously consider uh, sending your child to a school 
uh, like I am doing it and try to find ways to save uh, in another ways uh, uh, rather than you know saving on the school fees um, for this so I really think that I have to do this investment um, both uh, both of us like my husband and uh, myself are into that uh, conclusion that we have to start sending her to school we are not sending her for school only for you know uh, academic skills now is it an inhibitor if I'm sending her like for four hours uh, like for example 8 to 12 so now once she comes then she will have some her snacks and then we will get off to you know some more studies uh, so I'll be covering some other things with her like for an hour before we actually take a nap then once we take a nap she'll be like up by f five or so and then before we go and do some outdoor activities we can do uh, you know some of the books or we can do vice versa like if she has slept more then it is like you know depending on her uh, uh, sleep timings whenever she wake up so if it is a timing for me to go down and have uh, some outdoor play then I will do that and then cover later uh, some of the other um, you know study material and then I have again you know uh, Saturday Sunday and then Tuesday uh, Wednesday four more days completely with me to cover my homeschooling needs uh, so I still do all the things which I was doing uh, when I'm homeschooling her so it's not stopping me to do that the only advantage which I'm getting is that those four hours like a day like four into three 12 hours is making some difference um, I'm sending her to you know uh, see other people around see her teachers communicate with them and then also make friends uh, because even if I do academically whatever like by two if she even if she know all the things or even by three if she would have turned but if she's not able uh, to you know play independently or if she's not able to make friends she's not talking to others then all this is like you know not worth it uh, your child should be able to do these activities also in addition to the academic skills so it's a right combination of you know emotional behavioral and your social skills and uh, your academic skills so it has to be all of that not only one of that so uh, that is the reason I'm doing it and moreover it is not stopping uh, me because I'm sending her only for a few hours uh, so it is not um, uh, you know giving any limits for me to uh, that I'm not able to cover something just because I'm sending her to school yes I'm spending a lot for uh, uh, sending her to a school uh, but it's okay I mean we have to do that at some point of time it's an investment that we are doing for our children um, so yeah, that's it I would like to cover uh, for today. Hope you have liked my video. If you like it, then please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel for any more updates and notifications. Till then, take care. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. Enjoy with the little ones.